In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a futuristic pixelated look on your photos that looks something like this without using any plugins inside of Photoshop. Let's get started. What is up guys, this is Max Square, and yes, Free Template Friday is finally back. It's been a couple of years since my last template that I gave away, and if you don't know, basically I design or create a template that I give away to you guys on a Friday. So you can mess around with it, use it for whatever project you want, and it's completely free. So today's tutorial is gonna be pretty brief. I'm actually gonna show you how you can create this effect. It's pretty easy to do, but if you don't feel like doing any of the work, you can download the free template from the link down below. Now, if you're new here, I create videos all about how to increase your productivity on your iPad, your Mac, and your iPhone. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing down below. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. So once you open up the template, you'll see we have four different layers. We have an effects overlay, which is an optional extra effects you can add. We have the original photo, then we have the pixels, which are all the pixels around the foreground. And then the majority of the effects, which is kind of changing the hue and adding that wind and extrude effect, which we'll get into in a minute. Now I've actually made it really simple for you guys to edit. All you have to do is just double click the replace me layer and drop in whatever photo you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in this photo here. You can scale it up, position it wherever you want it. The canvas is set to 4K, so you do want a photo that's pretty high resolution. Once you save that, it may take a couple of minutes just depending on how powerful your CPU is. That's just because it's a 4K composition and there's just a lot going on with all the smart objects. Now once you jump back into the main project, you'll see everything has updated. Now this doesn't look too great off the bat. Maybe this is the look you're going for, which is totally cool. The first thing you wanna do is click on the layer mask on the replace me layer. Then hit B on your keyboard, that'll bring up your brush tools. Make sure that your foreground is set to white. And then I like to set the hardness to around 0% just so that it's really smooth. And then I just brush over the main object in the photo. So this is the camera in my case. I might include his arm and kind of the hands and just go over that a little bit. And like I said, that top layer is optional. So you may want to turn that off. It'll just be a little less intense. And the other thing you may want to do is mess around with the hue and saturation. This is really dependent on the photo and what colors are dominating. So you may want to just mess around with the hue until you get something that looks good. You can also play around with the saturation and that'll affect obviously how vibrant those colors are. And again, this is just tweaking until you get something you like. But by default, the saturation is set to 100%. So you can really mess around with all of these layers, mess around with the opacity, blend modes, but the template should be pretty easy to use right off of the bat. So let's go ahead and create a new project and recreate this effect. I'm just gonna work at 1920 by 1080 just for the sake of our CPU. And first we're gonna bring in our photos. I'm just gonna use the same photo for the sake of time and scale that up to our composition. You can delete that background layer. What we're gonna do is duplicate this main photo three times so that we end up having four copies. You can just hit Command J, it's a quick way to duplicate. And what we're gonna do is label the top one effects optional. We're gonna layer the next one, original image. The one below that, pixels, or pixel, close enough. And then the last one is just gonna be the glitch effects. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some noise. So we're gonna go up to filter, noise, and just select add noise. And we're gonna set this to 2% and the distribution to Gaussian, then just hit okay. The next thing we're gonna do is mess around with the hue and saturation. So you can go up to image, adjustments, and hue and saturation. Again, this is up to you, but I'm gonna set the saturation to 100 and the hue is gonna be negative 12. The next thing we're gonna do is add some wind. So we're gonna go up to filter, stylize wind and I like to use the method stagger and direction from the left this is the most intense option I think you can get with this filter and then we can just hit ok and then we're going to add some extrusions so we're going to go back up to filter go to stylize and hit extrude and I'm using block type the size is set to 4 pixels and the depth is set to 30 I have both of those checkboxes checked it's solid front faces and masking incomplete blocks. Again, mess around with these as much as you want and then hit okay. May take a second again, just depending on how powerful your computer is, but then you can see this effect is really coming to life. So we're good to move on to the next layer. I'm gonna enable that pixel layer. We're gonna go up to filter, 
pixelate and we're going to select mosaic we're going to set that to 35 and hit OK. And I'm going to set this blend mode to screen. Now we can enable that original image again, but then what I'm going to do is actually copy and paste the effects from the glitch effects layer to effects optional. And then I'm going to enable that top layer, set that blend mode to screen and bring the opacity down to about 40%. Now right now the original image is covering the bottom two layers. So to fix that, we're going to create a layer mask. And what I like to do is actually just cover everything in black and then toggle the foreground color to white and you can decrease that size a little bit and then we're just going to highlight the main object. And boom, just like that you're done and you've achieved this effect inside of Photoshop. Now like I said, you can mess around with any of these settings as much as you want. You can change the percentages, delete some layers, delete all the layers, it's completely up to you. But like with all effects and styles, you want to use it in moderation. You don't want to go too intense and then it's just over the top. So guys, that is it for this tutorial and this week's free template Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to like and subscribe down below. It really helps the channel out a ton. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.